we're talking to you from beautiful Anna Maria Island. This is Ed Child. Hey, Sarah. How are you doing, I'm Ed? I'm doing great today. It's great Good. to have you all here. Good. Thanks for having us. Tell us a little bit about what's going on at Maine Cellar. Well, we want to welcome you to the premier uh, condo project uh, on Anna Maria Island. This is a condo hotel, actually. Right. Beautiful space. Oh, Gulf gorgeous. front, as you can see. Look at the crab boat, Ed. Yeah, those are going to be on the menu tonight. So oh. you can walk down to the Sandbar Restaurant or you can go across to Sean's. Uh, you do happen to have uh, one that is uh, recognized as uh, one of the best, if not the best restaurant in the state of Florida with the Bistro. Beach Bistro. Right next door here. Uh, and then you can walk up the beach a half a mile to the Sandbar and that gets some pretty good reviews too from people. So. And if you're planning a wedding, don't forget about the Sandbar. The Sandbar is a the premier spot according to the Knot. Uh, the largest wedding publication in the country for a wedding on the west coast of Florida. And our people do a great job with those. But uh, this is a beautiful property here. Uh, you've got old antique floor floors. You've got a great Florida look. These are two and three bedroom uh, units uh, with, that have professional management. They're in a rental program. They are connected also with the Marine, Main Sail Marina Lodge, which will be on the old side of Pete Renards. Uh, that has 63 boat slips. Uh, and it will have a lovely restaurant there as well. Those units will be a little bit smaller than these and they'll be very, very well priced. So, so it's the best of both worlds. You can have your boat in the bay side and then the Gulf of Mexico well, as your beach club. That's exactly right. And if you've got one of the marina units and you want to come over and use the beach here, then you have that connection. Ed, just tell the people back home a little bit about how long you've been on the island what all you've done out here, and really what's going on today. Why would it be a destination spot for vacation, for home ownership? Well, uh, Sarah, I've been on the island for longer than I can remember. Uh, you know, I started coming here um, uh, as a baby in arms, even before that, and always all the folks from uh, Lakeland, Hope County, where I'm from, as you know, oh, yeah. all migrate over the beach and we spend the summers here, and we, uh, you know, caused all kind of trouble here, and uh, a few of the lucky ones of us uh, ended up here and uh, decided to get into business here and raise a family, and that's what I was fortunate enough to do. And I uh, bought the Sandbar restaurant uh, 30 years ago. 30 Toronto, years. And that, that. Now, that dates us, Ed. I don't know if I can tell people all about <laughs> well, that. As I said, I've been here a long, long time. So, And then I'm, I'm fortunate to own the uh, Beach House restaurant down at the Foot of the Cortez Bridge, uh, right on the Gulf of Brandon Beach, and the Mar Vista, which is old. Classic Florida dive. Beautiful. Uh, Come by boat to the yeah, Marvest. That's my recommendation. Great, great place with a 14 uh, slip boat docks, and you can't come by boat that's on the north end of Longboat Key. And we're really pleased to be involved here with the Pine Avenue project, right. where we are working on saving our own small business district that is a precious 2% of the city of Anna Maria. Uh, and that runs from the Bay Side to the Gulf Side, uh, down Pine Avenue. Uh, they built the city pier in 1911 and brought them down Pine Avenue across the island from the bay to the Gulf. No bridge to the mainland at That's that time. That's exactly right. No bridge at all. And that was the site that was on all the original plats as the Grand Hotel. They built a bathhouse, and that was the yin and the yang of your visit, if you will, uh, back in those days. You landed at the pier, you came across to the beach, they had lockers there, and they had a whole platform you could swim out to. Uh, and then that became the, a juke joint in the 30s, and you know, the, the sandbar kind of grew up out of that. So great history there. Almost so much years history old. out yeah. here, yeah. and just a pleasure today. And when he was talking about the Lakeland people, they're still coming in throngs. But what we've got now is an international group of people. When you come to the island, you just meet all kinds of wonderful people that are all looking for an experience that you can't find anywhere else. Anna Maria is such a unique and special place. It, it, it really has a, a low key, a low density, low rise. It's authentic. Right. It, this is not another uh, big resort with a different skin on it. This is a real place. It's a real community. Uh, I think it really reflects where we're going now uh, as a country. You know, it's not about as much grandiose. It's about authentic. Uh, this has a sense of place. Uh, you feel that. That's what people get attached to certainly the most beautiful beaches in the world. The people have come, and they're staying, and they're putting down roots. And you're seeing it here. I mean, that's part of what I'm talking about, the island, kind of uh, uh, how vibrant it is and the vitality that is out here right now. There's great opportunities out here right now. Prices have come down. Uh, these mainsail properties are a great example of that. I mean, this is uh, 
three bedroom. Uh, you just, uh, it's, it's, as I said earlier, it's the nicest uh, uh, properties on the island. Beautiful finishes in these units. The interiors. And you can get a two or three bedroom beachfront place for what is a very reasonable price. Uh, Absolutely. The marina lodges that are going to come on possibly as early as March or April are really going to be a great opportunity for someone who is wanting to get a piece of this uh, this island and get a little piece of the rock. And those are going to come out, they're going to be about 200 square feet uh, smaller, the finishes are going to be as nice or nicer, and they are going to be really, really well priced. Uh, Joe Collier, who is the head of Mainsail, uh, has told me that he wants to move the first 10 of those, and so I think people that are looking for a great spot on the island ought to be uh, awaiting those uh, uh, the documents to come out and that's to get ready to do the pre-sales on those because I think there's going to be some real bargains. And people are definitely looking for that on the west coast of Florida. It's an excellent time to get in the market. And Ed, we thank you so much for sharing your insight about the island that you love and that you've helped develop and your family's been on for 30 plus years. My pleasure. Thanks for coming out. All right. We love you, Ed.